the first we have to talk about reviews because reviews sell books. Um, statistics say that up to 86% of people will look for a review before buying a book. And while we like to think that our friends and family will immediately rush out, buy our book and leave a review, too often that doesn't happen, either because we don't ask them or they don't know how, or maybe while our friends and family really support us, they're not really interested in a romance novel or a children's fiction novel, whatever it may be. So it's important that we build our reviewer group early. And you can do that by asking in reading groups if people would like to be part of your review launch. You can do that by asking friends and family, but asking if they're really interested. No pressure, but if you would love to do this, I would love to have you and make sure that you're giving them clear instructions on how they can leave reviews and when to leave reviews. Most people are very willing, but they need to be hand fed a little bit to know exactly what to do. The other thing is making sure that you've got all your ducks in a row, as much as you can anyway. So making sure that you have your social media graphics ready to launch so that they are being posted at the same time as the book's going live, making sure that you make your blog announcements. It's really important that you know that you have to let everyone know about your book launching. If it just goes up online and you don't shout it from the rooftops, people don't really notice. So you have to make sure that you line that up in advance from blog tours to social media, whatever you decide to do with that fits within your time allotment and your budget, make sure that you push it all towards a concentrated time, say a day or two days, so that you get the maximum benefit right away and that you get a big push right up front that can help lead you into successful sales for the future.